experience. And one of the things that we have for enhancing the customer experience is something that we call um, call pops. So call pop, we pull up our cases side. Call pop is a tool to help with productivity and customer experience, as stated. And so it can be greatly improved by using this type of feature. And so I'm just going to simulate a call here. So if a call was to come in, let's say I was a support manager or support rep, and I'm kind of looking at my cases, and as a call comes in, this here, and if a call came in with as an existing customer, or if this person was an existing customer, I'm going to have this little window here that's popped up, and I'm going to see some relevant information right away. So first of all, I'm going to know uh, potentially who the customer is, the company, the number that they're calling from. More importantly, things like last interaction, like if they had a bad call, I might know how to better answer if this was negative. I might understand that maybe by the time this person's calling in, I really need to treat them uh, especially careful. Um, if they've taken a survey or not, the potential size of the account, and again, the overall satisfaction of the, um, the account. And so uh, what I think is cool about this is that not only do I have a little bit of information, potentially who this person is, um, is that if I want to accept the call right away when I do that, I don't have to say, Jonathan, who are you and what's your company? Let me look up your account information, anything like that. I've already got it in front of me. And all I'm simply doing at that point is just verifying, thank you for calling Nextiva. Um, is this Jonathan, right? And then moving on from there. So once I've accepted the call, their contact information pulls up, but I also have their account information. So not only do I have their uh, contact information, I've got any information about any recent cases that they may have opened up, um, any information about the account itself, master account here, as well as their overall uh, feedback based on any of the past interactions like surveys or calls. So I get a good idea right off the bat of how this company is feeling about us or their account as well as the person itself. So up here I can see um, any trends, any interaction history, so I can really just look back and see so I don't have to say, like, when's the last time you talked to us? I can actually go back and look. And if I need to do anything in here while I'm talking to the customers, I can just set up notes and then basically have those um, uploaded into the, the account here by either creating a case um, or posting it to um, the interaction. What I also like about this is, let's say I'm creating a case, even if I'm like maybe a brand new rep or I'm just not sure they're asking me about a certain thing, I'm trying to create a case here. We have something at Nextiva that we use also, it's called Macro, which I think is a really cool idea. And what this does is that it creates a situation where if I have a case that's being created um, and I don't know the course of action of what should or shouldn't be done. I can simply type in the information about the case here, decide whether it needs to be escalated, type in some notes about the, uh, the call or what the customer said, and then based on the type of case, I can actually decide on how this is handled. So if this was just a customized case, I can decide like the priority levels, status, who to send it to, things like that. But let's say, for instance, this is a billing issue and I don't know the process for that. It's actually going to upload it for myself. So right away, I don't even have to worry about it. I know this is a billing situation, some type of discrepancy. Right away, I know that it's going to already be set at a level two. It's going to go to my billing department and maybe the owner gets uh, assigned once it reaches the billing department. But the point is, I don't have to do anything as a rep. I know I can just simply choose a macro and then it'll, it'll naturally go to the proper workflow. So a lot of this stuff in terms of automation has been done for you, and Macros is a really amazing tool to help especially new reps figure out where things are supposed to go without upsetting the customer any further, especially if it was a negative situation. 
So regarding the call pops, I want to also simulate when brand new callers call in. So what you just saw was obviously if they exist in our database uh, inside the CRM, how you can handle them and escalate cases. If this is a brand new contact, so let's say this is a new inquiry, anything like that, uh, this is what it would look like. So naturally we wouldn't have any information about interactions or account, but we will have a phone number on there. And so once the call is accepted, it's still gonna take me to a useful interface that allows me to interact with the customer, maybe even almost lead me into some line of questioning, like basic information like name and birth date, whatever you guys want. All these uh, columns here are customizable. Um, and then once this is basically done, let's say I'm taking notes here, um, I can create a, a lead for it. And so once I've taken down all my notes, I've got some basic information. Let's say it's good enough to have a follow-up date. So I've created my lead. All the information would populate in here. And then let's say I want to set up a follow-up date and maybe I've got a few notes just to remind me of what to talk about next and the type, let's say I'm gonna give them a call. And then I would just simply create a lead um, at that point. And then they would fall into a lead category here. And so these are all of my leads. So naturally, uh, these can all be sorted out. You can be searched by company names, interests, maybe you know if you're uh, kind of sales driven, which a lot of lead organizations are, you can sort these by dollar amount so you know who to call through. And what I think is cool about this is that uh, not only can you sort these, but you also have things like click to dial right from the, the lead views here, as well as emailing out. And so just dropping into any kind of leads, if I decided once we were on a phone call that I wanted to have any kind of interaction with this person, so naturally typing in things like new notes, sending out emails, sending out uh, surveys as an example. So let's say I have a demo with a particular person, I could immediately have a, dem uh, a survey sent out in a timely manner. And so I could basically have some type of survey automatically sent out or I could do it manually. So well, something like this. And then I might just put in their email address and then send it off to them. But also, let's say that this particular lead is going to the next level. Remember, we've had our demo. We think that this is something that uh, qualifies as a potential opportunity that we might want to move into our pipeline. So I would simply just hit qualify here to turn it into more of a sales opportunity. So here's my lead funnel here. And now I'm going to escalate this into an opportunity to now be worked further in my sales process. And so once we've converted a, an opportunity, I'm going to hit qualify. And all of my opportunities would show up very similar in uh, lead view here. So I can obviously scroll down, filter the same way. But what I think is really useful here visually, that's just the way I like to learn, is switching it up to this board view. And I think this is a really fantastic way to see one's pipeline. So everything from leads, especially management, always likes to see what stage everything is in. Or this will tell you right away. So you can look at somebody's pipeline and see how many leads do they have, how many opening opportunities, like if we just created it, it might just be in here, you need a little bit more, versus maybe something that's already been quoted and maybe close to closing. We can just simply scroll through and see everything in here. The other thing that I think is very cool is that you don't have to go into individual records and then simply change and wait for them to update and reload the page. I can simply just move things along from stage to stage. Hopefully we're not going backwards, but um, you get the point. I can drop and drag and move things into different stages. Um, hopefully we're staying out of this stage right here, but every once in a while that happens, so we have to kind of put that in there, but we'll just focus on this positive side here. So say as an example, we have closed the deal and we have moved a particular sale into a closed one status. 